welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today I'm doing my 2020 Christmas haul, what I got for Christmas video. I've been doing this for years now. I've been doing this for a while and it's just tradition at this point and I had to do it. And I make these videos for my own memories because I like to look back at them every December reminisce past gifts you know i can see the things i was into back then i'm continuing the tradition even if christmas looked very different for all of us this year i thought i can't let it ruin even more traditions meaning the christmas haul just had to happen so for those of you that are watching this i hope you had a very merry christmas even though life is weird right now hope you made the best out of it so i'm gonna start with what my grandma got me part of it i picked out myself and some of it was a surprise from her. So the first thing I picked out was this Leopard Victoria's Secret robe. It's so soft. I'm hoping it's nice and long and cozy. It feels it, so I'm assuming that's gonna fit nice. The one that I have now is six years old and it's just really short, so I thought it was time for a new one. I'm really vibing with the leopard print these days. I also picked out for myself this shirt from Zara. It is a tank top and like kind of mock neck, turtleneck-ish. And it's ribbed and the goal is well first of all I can wear it on its own but also under sweatshirts and stuff I really like the round turtleneck vibe from Old Navy I picked out this flannel I decided that I wanted to just get rid of all my flannels and start fresh and so I got this one I got it in a size large so it's nice and long and big and I have a goal for myself that I want to go camping next year in the summer I also just want road trips like I just want a very outdoors and adventurous summer 2021 so I just feel like the flannel's perfect for my for my visions for next summer. Another thing I picked out for myself is this clear fanny pack. It comes with this little lemon attached to it. I'm personally gonna cut that off, but it's just big clear fanny pack. I'm manifesting some music festivals in the future, perhaps not 2021, but they'll be back. And when they are, I'll be using this clear fanny pack. Got this from the store Bentley. So the last thing from her that I picked out for myself is the Rare Beauty Foundation. Um, for some reason, my foundations right now are too pale for me, which never happens. Usually I'm more pale at this time of the year, and I'm not, so it's kind of weird. But I just got a liquid touch weight loss, weight loss, no, weightless foundation by Rare Beauty, which is Selena Gomez's makeup line, so I'm really excited to try this. Two surprise items from my grandma is this red buffalo plaid scarf. It's very cute. I don't have anything like this. I don't really want to style it right now and it's got just a huge tag on it. Not know she got me this and this morning, it's December 27th, I saw a present under the tree for me that I did not notice on Christmas morning and that was this scarf. So I literally had no idea about it. Got me this hoodie which I was really wanting something pretty much just like this. I wanted some dark gray clothes because I really like the color and I don't really have anything like this. I know it looks black but it is a dark gray. And it is a hoodie. Based on the texture, I think this would be perfect for a summer night or like at the beach when it gets cold, like just all my summer dreams. Um, and also it's like not cropped, but it basically hits right at the waistline. And it's a really nice sweater and it was a lovely surprise. From my friend Emily, she got me the Snow Fairy Body Conditioner from Lush. I requested a body conditioner because I really vibe with these and Snow Fairy is a really good scent and it's a hot pink color. I requested belts this year because all of mine are too big and I wanted the cute ones with little circle designs. So that's exactly what I got. I low-key did send her the exact link to this. So I, I somewhat saw it coming but it is just from Blue Notes and it's a black belt. Literally exactly what I wanted. And she gave me a little roller skate sticker which is iconic because... Oh my god there's two in here. Oh my god, adorable. It's a little popsicle. I feel like the roller skate's iconic because her and I were really outdoorsy this summer going on our bikes and rollerblading. Really nice bodysuit from Dynamite. It's black and it kind of goes low and it's really cute, really good quality. A Beverly Hills Nano 2 and 0 graphic tee. It's in a large so that it fits really long and baggy because that's the style that I wear all of my graphic tees. I like them to be long so I can wear them with bike shorts and the colors are just so vibrant and fun. The last thing she got, this is my favorite, it's from Dynamite. It is this white shirt. Oh my god, it's adorable. I picture myself in the summer, tan, out for brunch, sipping on a mimosa and this. Like, we need a close up on her, just wait. Oh. So cute. From my parents, I picked out some things and then I also just gave a list. 
and they really, really tackled that list. As you can see, my hair is clearly short, and I don't do much with it, but I knew I would if I had a mini flat iron, because my flat iron is just so bulky, and like, my hair is, like, what, five inches long, so it's just, it was just not, not doing it for me. So then I thought, oh my god, a mini flat iron would be perfect, plus I could do flat iron curls with it, and it would just be so easy and fast. So, they got me a mini flat iron. It's called Baby Bliss, and it is so cute. Look at how adorable this little flat iron is. I'm obsessed, and I cannot wait to use it. This is definitely one of my favorite things that I got this year. This past summer, I bought a gel nail kit from Amazon. As you can see, my nails are currently done right now, and I literally do not need to go to the nail salon anymore because this stuff lasts at least two weeks, and it's perfect. So I'm basically my own at-home nail salon now. And I'm trying to build up a collection of colors, and my parents really boosted my collection now. There's just 25 nail polishes in here. Stunning. I am going to do my nails, my family's nails, my friend's nails. Basically, I'm going to try and stop everyone from going to the nail salon and just come to me because, honestly, I really enjoy doing it for other people. I requested some glittery eyeliners because I wanted some fun colors and... Even though New Year's Eve is literally cancelled, I still think I'll probably put some fun ones on because I have nothing better to do. I literally do my makeup for fun now. It really just gives me some enjoyment. But these are from Rimmel, so we just have a black eyeliner, a kind of grey purple one, and then a gold sparkly one. And I'm really excited to play around with these. And they got me belts too, um, a brown one, and a leopard one with the circles on both of them so I'm stocked up on the belts. A gift card to Dollarama, literally the dollar store, one of my favorite stores. I am in a Facebook group. It's that hardcore. I'm in a Dollarama Facebook group where people post things that they bought and I'm obsessed with it. I'm I'm a Facebook group girl this year. Another thing I requested, I was on my school's website and I was looking at like the merch, the hoodies, whatever, and I saw that they have tree ornaments. And I'm in my last year of university, so I thought it would be cute to have a little keepsake of my school, put it on my tree. I got this cute ornament that is a Christmas tree and it says my school name on it and it's so adorable and it's going to be the best keepsake for when I graduate. This is my last Christmas as a student. That's really weird. That scares me. It's my beloved calendar. This calendar means new world to me. I had it in 2019 and then I couldn't find it for 2020. That's when I knew 2020 was downhill, when I couldn't find this calendar. I hate the calendar I have right now. So this one is so important to me because look at these photos. Like, the aesthetic is just everything. I'm obsessed. It's called the Fashionista Diaries. 10 out of 10 recommend this calendar. So I want to redo my spare room, which is like my closet slash office type of room. So first of all, from the dollar store, I bought little hooks that I'm going to put on the back of my door just for some extra purses that I keep in that room. Then I got two of these marble of these, just these little totes to put on my clothing rack. And I just keep random little knickknacks in these boxes and right now I have boxes that do not match and they just look hideous. And then from Dollarama, I don't know where I got this idea, I think it was a TikTok maybe, or the Facebook group. It is a paper towel holder. But I'm going to put all my scrunchies on it. I currently have them in Bath & Body Works empty candles. But that takes up two jars and I don't like the look of having two jars on my dresser. So I'm just going to stack them all on here. And now moving on to the gifts from my sister. We have a face mask that matches my Aritzia Super Puff um, Winter Coat. So this is, this is hilarious. I was so shook. It is literally a Super Puff face mask from Aritzia. You can tighten the ears and it's the texture of my jacket. I'm gonna look so coordinated wearing this with my jacket. Even when the pandemic is over, because it will be one day, I will still wear this because in the winter, obviously it's freezing, so covering my nose is something I'm still gonna continue doing. Lush body lotion. And then she got me a MAC lipstick. I'm too lazy to take it out of the packaging, but it's a cute color. I requested this, a one line a day book. I'm very excited to get into this. I love writing random things and it's five years worth of things so it's just a blank page and every day you just write whatever you want. I had the five year Q&A book and this is my last year so in a few days I'm done it for good. I have used this since 2016. It's insane. But writing in that book has become a part of my night routine. I do it every night so I really wanted something to start the new year off with for another five years. So as many people might know, 
on Canadian Netflix, Friends is leaving. It left the States last year, but it is our time for it to go. It's going to be on Crave, I heard, which I think I have Crave. I don't really know, but I just wanted it on DVD so badly because I just want it in my possession forever and I don't want to deal with the stress and the loss of it getting off of all these streaming websites, whatever. I just wanted to own it for good. So my sister got me it. The whole Friends, literally seasons 1 to 10 on DVD. When I move out, this shit's coming with me. Like, this is coming with me everywhere I go. I watch this show all the time. It's clearly the best show ever. And this is, again, one of my favorite gifts. And then she just got me this laptop table. So from my aunt, she got me a charmed aroma candle in the scent cinnamon vanilla. And inside is a ring. So I'm very excited to use this. And this is made with essential oils. Very interesting. So from my friend Jane, I still have it in the bag. She got me this shirt from Zara that says, I will carpe diem tomorrow. I just love the vibe of it. I love that it's subtly like a graphic tee and it's just really cute, really soft. We always complain about our feet having poor circulation and always being freezing. So she got these really cute slipper socks. I requested these. They're mittens from Blue Notes that are leopard print and so soft, like obsessed. This black velvet hair clip that I will do cute little half ups in because like I said, short hair, there's not really much I can do with it. So I really wanted clips to spice it up. They're all so cute. The bottom one is my favorite. And then she got me a little Hershey's Kiss from my friend Steph. First of all, the most iconic thing ever, she got me this avocado toast ornament from Urban Outfitters. I literally saw this on the website and debated getting it. Like, we need a close-up. That is hilarious. This is going on the tree after I'm done filming. It's squishy. It's just crazy that I thought about getting this and when I opened it, literally, I was just so shocked that she thought of it. We both really vibe with avocados. I got her an avocado-related gift too. Then this is something I requested and I also bought for my sister from me. It is a 1999 necklace, my birth year. I got my sister it in gold. Um, 1997. I told my friends that if they were to get me this, I don't care if it's gold or silver because I personally couldn't decide, so I wanted someone else to choose for me. Really nice MAC highlighter kit. The packaging is literally stunning. So pretty. Most stunning highlighters. Obsessed with this. And lastly, oh, this is one heavy. This is from my friend Mariah and her son, my godson, Tobias. So first of all, we have a massive bottle of Girls Night Out Strawberry. And oh my god, I'm obsessed with this wine. It is so good. This is like my summer drink. And this is a huge ass bottle. And I will not be sharing this. I shall drink it myself. The thing with the Girls Night Out is you don't think it's hitting you. And then you drink a lot. And you're like, shit, yeah, it actually is. She got me this palette from Sephora called Animal Eyes. I can't open it because there's a sticker, but these are all the colors in it. Very sparkly, pretty colors. I'm very excited to use this. And the packaging is just really cute. Tropical vibes. I mean, a body and face mask. It's a two-in-one from Lush. And it smells so good. And it's purple. And I'm really excited to use this. Roots shorts. So cute and comfy looking. Flannel pink gray little root symbol so adorable my favorite part she got me from garage this dark gray it's like people knew that i wanted stuff this color and i didn't even tell them dark gray mock neck cropped long sleeve so so cute i'm so obsessed so that is everything i got this year i'm so grateful i even got to do a social distance style of gift exchange with my friends and then i got to briefly see them this holiday season this year has been a weird one and I'm glad it's over. But anyways, I'm very happy and grateful. Thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you in the next video. Merry Christmas!